Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to Hualien's Toroko National Park for the very first time. We are in Nan Ao right now, which is the perfect stop on the way to Hualien. Here in Nan Ao, they have a famous ice cream shop, Jianghua Bingdian, and you can definitely stop here and try out some ice cream. Well, let's check out the ice cream first, and then let's go to Toroko National Park. Jianghua Bingdian is an old-fashioned Taiwanese ice cream shop that has been here for over 70 years and gone through three generations. Their recipe and even their ice cream machine stems from the Japanese era here in Taiwan. And their signature is actually a ice cream with a variety of different beans with an egg on top. They call it preacher ice, a name which comes from the old days in which missionaries would stop here on their way to Yilan or Hualien to grab a bite to eat. Now we're back on the new and improved portion of the Suhua Highway. And a side note, this new highway actually allows for direct buses from Taipei to Hualien. It's sometimes difficult to grab a train ticket to Hualien, so the fact that they now have a bus is a great option for travelers. Okay, now we're at Siba Gaudi, which is a nice viewpoint that overlooks Qixing Tan. Let's go check out the views. So what Sipa Gaudi is known for is actually just being a beautiful cliffside and although it's still a little bit cloudy and thundery, you can still get a great view here. Now let's go down to Qixing Tan and check it out ourselves. Yesterday we were up on those cliffs over there at Siba Gaudi, and now we are here. Uh, we had to wait, outweigh the thunderstorms for a little bit, but now it is nice and sunny. This is actually a really suitable place to ride your bike. If you like riding bikes. Also another side note, this is the location of a Taiwanese Air Force Base. So you will see F-15s, I believe, maybe F-16s coming up right over here and coming up over the Air Force Base over the sea. So if you're like an airplane enthusiast or you like jets, then it definitely is a cool place. So we are back at Siba Gaudi and as you can see, sun is up and there are much less people so maybe if you're coming to Siba Gaudi you want to come in the morning time it's eight o'clock now and it's very nice and very sunny no more thunderstorms or clouds as you can see the cliffs aren't too intimidating because it's not a direct slope but get down there a little bit Now we're gonna go into the city and check out a little mountain and cultural center that I saw on the map. Who knows what it's like? Let's go. There is a parking lot here, so if you are riding a motorbike or a scooter, it's totally fine. Just be careful when you're crossing the road because it can get a little sketchy. Only about three cars here. So a good time to come is in the morning before the tour buses. I came last yesterday afternoon and it was much, much more crowded. Oh, four cars, sneaky. Okay guys, we are at Meilun Mountain in Hualien, which offers a nice view of the city. It's basically just a nice park. There are, weirdly enough, a lot of uh, military bunkers going on. Oh, interesting. Oh, look, there's the other side. Wouldn't want to go in there. But yeah, guys, there is a, this is a nice little park to just explore. If you want to get some exercise, you can walk around kind of in the nature. There's a lot of shade everywhere, so it's not too sunny or anything like that. And it's pretty peaceful. There's quite a lot of different little trails to explore here and different things to do. So definitely worth, worth a stop in Hualien. Here we are at Pine Gardens, a really interesting spot in Hualien if you're a World War II history nerd like me. 
It was a very essential command post for the Japanese army during World War II. It was actually one of the four bases for kamikaze units stationed in Taiwan during the war. Here we have the little wooden house. The sign here says it was rumored that the highest commanding officer committed suicide here after the war. Inside you can see an example of wooden architecture from that time. We are looking around at all the stuff. There's a cafe here, $60 admission fee. Um, really interesting, this was a home base of a kamikaze pilot. Uh, so there was a kamikaze unit stationed here. It, they actually said this is likely one of the last places they stayed before taking off on their mission the next day. So let's go investigate and see what we can find out. Here we have the 100-year-old pine trees, Okinawan pines. And these trees are over 100 years old, which you would never really know. And I guess because Taiwan and Okinawa have such similar climates in some regard, that these trees actually do quite well here. I am still looking for the bunker here, have not found it yet. But we will not give up, we will find this bunker. Check out this view of the Hualien River. This sign tells us that the Japanese army used to spread ghost stories just to keep people away from here. Okay, we have found the bunker. And I can understand why it was hard to find now because it's kind of out of nowhere. Let's go check it out. So this would have been where you hide out in, in the case of an attack, an American attack on Taiwan. Pictures of the kamikaze unit that was stationed here in Hualien. You can see these guys probably were here on their last night. Okay guys, we're out of the bomb shelter. And I think that's pretty much it for Pine Garden. Let's make our escape to Taroko. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Hopefully you don't film my death. There were of course the worst possible sandals. Stop paying attention to the camera all the time and focus on the road. Let's go find the sound.